All right, welcome back. It is late November 1862. Um, not much really happened in Virginia. Pretty much everyone's sort of just uh, sitting tight. Uh, winter has now started, although Virginia is still um, clear, as you can um, as you can see. Um, I'm sitting Stuart down to to Onslow here to, to take up a position. Um, and we also have forces that are on the way uh, uh, to uh, Wilmington to reinforce it. Um, pretty much a snowy, uh, harsh weather situation out here in Kentucky and Tennessee. Um, again, not much happening. Really, everyone's sort of just uh, pretty much just sitting tight. Um, in Fayetteville, um, I've swapped into the uh, the fresh militia units and taking out the uh, the tired ones. So this is what it looks like now. We actually have more power than Grant, which is a pretty good sign uh, for us. Um, this is what it looks like in Lawrence. Uh, this force is pretty weak, um, and uh, we're actually going to send the supply wagon down to to resupply, um, and uh, we have a parts in here that will arrive in arrive in one day. Um, out west, uh, Shelby's going to begin to move on uh, towards, uh, um, what is that there, um, Golden City, so we, we can pick up, uh, pick up the gold mine there, um, and then meanwhile we're going to move, start to move forward north towards, uh, forward to Garland. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, as far as what we are, uh, building, um, mostly did replacements this term, so there's only a thing that's left are the few ironclads, pontoons, and then a brigade in Kentucky. All right, so let's run the turn and uh, see what happens. Um, it was a pretty quiet turn. As you can see, Grant has retreated back um, uh, to a uh, cast here, and um, our forces are in uh, pretty good shape. Um, and they've also all recovered here, so um, yeah, not you know, basically, I think uh, it's probably safe for the moment. One thing that did happen that is very, very bad is um, you can see that actually uh, it looks like Van Dorn is pretty much about to be pushed out. We there was a battle here, and um, and uh, we lost the battle. Um, although Sheridan took, uh, took more casualties, but, uh, yeah, our forces are very, very weak. Um, so I don't, it's hard to imagine that they'd be able to withstand another assault. They're pretty much, <laughs> there's really not, not much left of them really. So, um, I mean, they're there, they're just all pretty much very, very, very tired. I've worn them down. Um, on a good news, um, uh, wow, Shelby will arrive in 3,000 days. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think uh, we're not going to quite make it to, um, looks like we, we've missed it by about a turn to actually get there. We can actually get through um, through the blizzard and the mountain. <laughs> um, uh, meanwhile, uh, we are still going uh, forward here, and... Um, or 10 days away from uh, Fort, uh, Fort Garland. Otherwise, there wasn't really too much happening. Um, everyone, everyone's pretty much sitting tight here. There is a, a cavalry unit that's come down here. Um, and uh, up in Virginia, nothing much happening as well. And uh, down in North Carolina, the only thing I saw really was that the Union fleet left. And so now Hooker is sitting here with about three and a half divisions. Um, and uh, yeah, not not too much, not too much is happening. So that's about it. Um, we got a, a large brigade has now arrived, and so uh, yeah, we have an actual division in Wilmington, which is uh, which is nice. All right, let's see if there are any interesting messages. Um, same forces have been trained. So Brex Corps bombarded Farragut's fleet. Um, 
There's a small battle out here in um, Colorado. It's like Carson has one uh, small regiment with them. Otherwise, mostly movement. We repaired the rail line here. Um, here was the battle that we saw earlier where um, our very, very weak forces uh, put up some of a fight. Um, at least Sheridan lost about a thousand men, so didn't lose more than us, but we uh, did lose the battle. Um, looks like Ricketts division is also very, very tired. And then there's a couple of new, couple of new units over here. Yeah, so it's not looking good for us, and we may actually lose Kansas now, so it's a bit disappointing. Although I, I, mean, I kind of think that holding Denver is going to be easier to hold, getting the Denver victory point and then getting the gold mine. Um, Bella Boyd. Um, and um, let's see, Gardner's arrived, good defensive general, Mississippi Brigade. Uh, Drew's Jersey Mountain Rifle has been reformed. Okay, so we have academics in Fort Fisher and then. Wow, another epidemic here. Man, I couldn't understand why, why, their, why their cohesion is so low. They're just getting hammered with sickness. And that's pretty much it. Um, I just want to quickly see what the Union morale is. Union morale is 90. Um, and uh, we're still up in the victory points 14 a turn and about 1,000. All right, see you next time.